Hi, I'm Scav, and I'm an architecture critic. Welcome to The Extra Office, a channel where I do architecture critiques of video games. If you want to join me live, please find my Twitch below. And to support my endeavors, please find me on Patreon, which is also linked below. Let's get started. So, this is a super slick rooftop bar, lounge. It's not that swanky though, it's pretty, it's pretty like, actually it's, it's not stylish. And these are huge, what is with this? Are these supposed to be like for two people? This is like your, this is like a grandparents retirement home rooftop bar. There's definitely cooler ones, but th this is hilarious. Like just open. Um, so it's just raining inside uh, when it rains. Oh, sweet floor. Sweet like parquet floor. Oh, ow! oh, that's so weird. But like, what are you doing with this brick? column like getting like interrupting the all oh, the trim which is actually extending from the floor trim just going straight across and then creating a kind of level demarcation which does make some sense that the architecture in this game is really good at um uh, marking like the walls because they're all the the system like you know you can dismantle like this section of wall and it's gonna go away right like that so that allows the architecture to be manipulated, but then still, still kind of uh, hold some kind of edge condition, right? So now this is this is holding the edge, or um, sorry, now this piece of wall is holding the edge, and the the trim like works, right? So I think a lot of the buildings in this in in Fortnite have can signal that they are that they or can be taken away and still have like edge conditions on some of the panels, which I think is pretty cool. Oh no, we gotta go. I'd better get into a car. Ooh, there's somebody. You wanna mess? You wanna mess? Woo! All right, sorry, sorry. I'm really enjoying that like, for some reason I'm good because I'm so laggy. All right, looks like there's a salty spring. Houses are up ahead. How much do you think this goes for? Oh, is there a downspout? Interesting. They don't always render those. Those are hefty, hefty gutters. That's a really nice gutter system, but it's like, see, okay, come on. It's like built in, it's like so close to the edge. You would need to uh, extend this a little bit. Uh oh, here we go. Extend this and there'd be a soffit here. You can't just you can't just put the edge of that just like right into the building. I I love the trim and the windows in this. I want a house with those windows. I would design you, I will design you a house that looks like a Fortnite house. That's what I want to do in my, with my life. I want to design you a Fortnite house in real life with these windows and stuff. Trim, sick. It's a very formal home. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. <sighs> All right, I took too much time. That'll do. Let's talk about this little island. What's on this island? So cute, a little lake house. Um, a single level. Oh yeah, garage with some kayaks and a and a fish, a singing fish. You gotta love that, folks. You gotta love that. Um, very fancy though structure. For a lake house thing, this feels too like too much, and the 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 structural system. Yeah, these windows are too high. Also, these doors t t trip me out. Like, why? Why of all the things? Why is this door stop right there? Like, it's it must be taller. Uh, it's comically short doors. That doesn't make any sense. Um, really bug me with the doors. Uh, I I love the OSB kind of garage brick look. Oh my goodness! All right, here we go. I'm I'm gonna have to keep it moving, but. Just what happens here? This isn't a house. It doesn't even have a bedroom or anything. Oh my god, what is this? With the f pediment that doesn't even touch. I have to highlight it real quick. Like, what is that? What's going on? Why? Ah! Okay. Uh, a log cabin. Okay. This is great. I just looked at a log cabin in Zelda yesterday. Log cabins are really interesting in video games because sometimes they... Uh, they do things structurally that that you wouldn't have to. Uh... 
Okay. Dang. Oh. Uh, there's still a lot more to discover on this map. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be doing more Fortnite um, reviews here. There's just too much, and I love how the map changes and updates. I think it'd be really cool to do um, new map reviews when they drop um, and try to check out what's different. But oh wait, oh yes, I want to do one of my absolute favorite places. <gasps> Okay, I absolutely love this. I can't even do Holly Hedges because I want to. I want to talk about this building or this. This is so cool. I mean, I, I like Fortnite because it's it's like clearly cartoon, but like look at this. Look at this sugar cube. This is called Ant Manor, and it's so freaking cool because it comes like I, I love the architecture in Fortnite because it it's playful. Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously as architecture, but it also it allows you to kind of um, experience. I'm gonna have a hard time with this. Oh, here we go. Good. I'm here. Um, experience some really strange things, like the ability to crawl through the duct work system, but also to like suddenly suddenly be completely out of scale. So I played. Um, I actually played Unreal Tournament back in the day. And one of my favorite Unreal Tournament levels uh, to play on online was um, somebody made like a child's bedroom, but like you were the scale of a of a Toy Story toy, and that was so fun and surreal because Unreal Tournament was this like immense, a very serious, bloody game, but you were playing it in like a kid's room, like that's artwork, like for real, and I mean that, like. The, to play that level is is artwork. It changes the way that you see the world, right? Uh, but this thing is so cool because suddenly I'm in a oh nice okay. Suddenly I'm um, suddenly my scale is shifted in the middle of the map without warning, and like I don't know. There's there's uh, the thing that I don't know is enough lore behind this game to say like this came in season X and the story behind it was. This or that. I'm, I hope to be able to do that a little bit more in the future. I just think this is the coolest, the coolest kind of thing. Um, I love stuff like this. But that is architecture in the game, right? That is a part. That is a space. It's a surreal space. It's um, it's architecture. It's not a building. But like, if you took sections of that or plans of that, it would be like a really cool studio project. Oh, perfect. Weeping Woods, the Weeping Woods house thing is ridiculous. Um, this is like McMansion level. This is McMansion hell. Um, it, it, I guess it's kind of, what is this? Like an event center, but it's like scaled, scaled. Like it's like, it's a house. I guess this is supposed to be like an event center of some kind, a uh, party center, but like, look at the size of this ridiculous fireplace. Um, or chimney, I guess. Uh, you know, this this super gaudy everywhere. It's got, uh, let's see, a hotel. It's almost like a hotel. Oh, it's a hotel. It is a hotel. I love these like little roof detail edges that, oh, sweet. Let's try to, I just need to get a gun or something, guys. I love stuff like this, taking it apart. And the they're good at, they're good at making sure that like that continues, right? Okay, so first, like, also, like, this hotel is terribly managed because why, why do you have, like, the drinks, like, the Coke machine, and then these, ter and then, like, the recycling cans next to each other? Like, there should, those should be in here. But you've got your, like, I like how they have, like, the staff uh, room with your, all the laundry, hotel laundry, and your, your cart. Um, that's pretty tight uh, detail. I like that this looks back out over the lobby and oh the fireplace is two-sided that's pretty chill it's the fireplace in the lobby which does not take up nearly enough space like uh, the rug that um <laughs> that doesn't create nearly a big enough environment if you ever look at like hotel lobbies they do this weird thing where it it looks like a living room but it's really 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 big or like the furniture is a couch but it can it holds a lot of space. That's because sometimes you've got groups of like 30 people coming in or out that use it. And people like to congregate in small groups anyway, building. But I, I don't like how tall it is in here. I don't understand why those little 
pieces of wood are sticking out that way. Oh, that's funny. Looks like some of the roof is on the underside of that tile. Oh, modeling. Um, oh, dear. What's happening here? I don't know what's happening here. This is a this is a powerful moment, guys. Powerful moment. The structure comes down. And there's this sort of ring that collects the forces I need to figure. OK, so here's a hotel room. Oh, cool. Oh, that's kind of cute. This is like a, a two bedroom. I uh... again, your your headboard or interior objects should never like cover up a sp space of a window. Uh, that window is really small for 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 this room. But this this room is also just very uncomfortable, very cold, very tall. Um, if you paid a lot of money for this hotel, you'd be pretty disappointed. Though you'd like the bathroom. Um, the it it could use a cleaning. Uh, <laughs> um, ooh, that mirror is too small. Good fixtures. Again, with this, these horrible like clashes of like wood ceiling. All the bathrooms in this game, it seems, need to be like tile, like tile, tile, tile. Laundry chute missed opportunity. Totally, I want to climb up the laundry chute. Okay, here's like the ice machine. That's legit. Ridiculous big window and curtains. This room layout is also kind of strange. Uh, you generally don't want beds tucked into a, uh, if you've got a slanted roof, you generally don't, unless you're like, unless it's like your college, like a college bedroom. My college bedroom did this. That's why I say it too. But you don't want to push a bed because then you get this awkward space here. And then usually there's even in attic spaces in houses, there's like a half wall built. And then there's a crawl space behind that half wall. You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh my God, somebody's gonna come in here when I'm doing this, but there should be like here, instead of going all the way, you'd build a half wall and then there'd be a crawl space with a little door that you could get into and go and store things back here. Um, but instead they have to kind of complete, oh my gosh, someone's right above me. Uh, they, have, they have to kind of complete it um, and it can't have too much detail in uh, the roof system exterior is also like just hell like these windows are so small and like it tries to do this like <laughs> it's this is what happens and you know what i kind of like this because i bet somebody would try to do this with like a log cabin style building but make it humongous corporate retreat uh project and so you've got this sort of fake facade or false facade which is fine that's not a bad thing to me but it's funny how there's these, okay, so there's structure. It's funny how it opens up and this typology shifts and becomes more of like a, uh, a modern building. It's like a, with like an open um, event center courtyard. Here we go. This is just, I don't even know what to say about this. I love them. I love these bears. Hello, friends. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm, not, I'm gonna die. Okay, the lag was in my favor there. <laughs> of course, they probably do catering if they're an event center, you know. So it makes sense. They just heat up a bunch of uh, heat up a bunch of food. Oh, there's a restaurant bar. Oh, this is not a substantial enough. Uh, no, 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 no. Not like a hotel. Look at this. Oh, they look so small and terrible up there. It's like they're. It's like. Oof, the scale. Oh, what? Oh no, I have to I have to go. Oh, I have to go. But wow, that made me so upset. The scale of that artwork on the wall was just um Thanks for listening. Of course, please like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this. Comment down below what game you think I should do next. Come find me on Patreon to support my work and see me live on Twitch to join in the fun. See you next time.